Well, all the skills that I learned in school, especially uh, in uh, building culture, society, uh, I can serve foundation. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Nelly Balogin Vlogs. And I'm here right now at the event of Swiss Cham on Inspiring Conversation on Breast Cancer. We also pose this overarching question, which we hope to be answered. If resources would not be an issue, what is the one barrier or gap that we can collaborate on that will help strengthen the healthcare system and improve sur survivorship and achieve the Global Breast Cancer Initiative targets? Our next uh, keynote speaker is the President of the Philippine Cancer Society, Dr. Corazon Melangel, who will speak on patient journey across the whole breast cancer care continuum, the Philippine Cancer Society. Good morning to all of you. I'm a professor at the University of the Philippines and uh, Life Cara. Our next speaker is currently the head of the Breast Cancer or Breast Center in St. Luke's Medical Center, Quezon City, Dr. Marcel Pagdanganan, who will talk about the breast cancer journey in SLMC from a surgeon's perspective. And of course, discuss the context of the GBCI pillar. Into prevention, the preventive side of things. Inatanong ko kanina ni Dr. Angelangel, 
wala pa tayong programa para sa breast cancer screening or yung simpleng um, self-breast examination lang on the ground. So I told her, meron naman po, doctora, and actually I came from the health centers eh, bago ako pumunta sa Department of Health. I spent 11 years on the ground working in the communities and we had this program. Uh, and I was telling doctora ng ilang yan, no matter how much you tell the patients uh, sa community, uh, hindi nila gagawin. No? So, kailangan lagi may guidance, kailangan binapantayan ng BHW para gawin. Sabi nga ni Dr. Angelangel, baka kailangan bigyan natin ng isang sakong bigas. Para... So, gusto ko nga malaman, ilang porsyento kaya, Dr. ang pumupunta sa inyo really for screening and ilang porsyento na with symptoms. And we can assume actually na siguro ang pupunta sa atin sa mga ospital o sa mga doktor natin ay ang 70 to 80% na po ba ang pumupunta na may simptomas na at yung 20% yun lang talaga yung pumunta because they wanted to know and they wanted to be screened so that they are yeah. living healthy. We cannot always put the blame on patients also in their behavior. We need to look at the supply side as well which is us from government. We know that access or inaccessibility uh, ang isa sa barrier niya would be financing. Maraming tao, ayaw nila magpagamot kasi wala silang pera. Maraming tao sasabihin nila, ayaw ko na pumunta dyan sa health center kasi pag pumunta ako, may doktor nga, pero paglabas ko, may dala akong reseta na hindi ko naman mabibili at wala akong pera. So meron po tayong nilulunch ngayon, yung consult tayo. Actually, it has been there. This is the primary care benefit package of PhilHealth. When in, hindi na lamang po siya yung usual na basic na Tinignan ka ng doktor, pina-x-ray ka, pina exam ka. We are expanding now the procedures. As well as, nilalagyan na po natin ng primary na mga... Uh, I'd just like to also ask um, our organizers, and of course, Dr. Francia and Dr. Pagdanganan, uh, the journey that you had been describing to us uh, would be those who can afford because they go to your hospital. Uh, the journey that we have described to us are for those who are aware and literate enough to understand. Uh, I would also like to uh, request from Swiss Chang if by the next RTD you can also have that journey for those who do not understand, not aware, and do not have the resources. How do they navigate themselves through this very difficult and confusing system that we have? hindi yung mapakausap ang doktor mo. Opo, may doktor ko. Kaya alam ko sa OPD. So, pagbalik ko po, wala na yung unang doktor na tumingin sa akin. So, this kind of complexities in our, you know, usual procedures in the hospital gives our patients additional burden. Masabihan ka na lang may cancer ka, hindi mo pa alam kung saan ka pupunta, kung ano ang gagawin mo. And that makes them more hopeless. Patients who do not have that much resources or do not have anything at and are really very feeling hopeless because of this circumstances. I also would like to tell all of you, uh, ano lang po, uh, just to say that we have this program for cancer and thankfully to our law, uh, nakapag-umpisa tayo ng uh, mga iba't ibang mga strategies to address the gaps in our program for cancer. We know that this has played our population for so long and ngayon po at least medyo concrete na yung mga nagagawa natin. We started off with our CSP map. Uh, ito po yung mga medicines access program ng cancer kung saan meron mo tayong different sites sa bansa uh, that the different medicines na kailangan ng mga cancer patients natin at least nakakatulong na po tayo ngayon sa kanila. Aside from that, uh, with the passing of the law also, nagkaroon tayo ng cancer assistance fund. Ito po yung fund na pwedeng gamitin uh, aside from the medicines, may mga diagnostic procedures kung kailangan ng mga pasyente. Minsan yung gamot nila wala po dun sa mga nabili ng DOH, maari po nila itong gamitin. And this can also be accessed by our patients. And then the third, when everything has been maximized already, meron pa rin pong isa pa yung medical assistance for indigent patients. This we call the MAI. Uh, where billions of pesos are being allocated per year by our legislator so that we can help our indigent patients. Uh, eventually, we expand no, to the other types of cancer.
other so that we can better help our um, individuals who are here. So that's like to uh, prolong pa, I think, uh, marami pang pag-uusapan. Uh, but I would just like to tell all of you that I am very thankful uh, Swiss Sham, uh, to Philippine Cancer Society, uh, to iCancer Foundation, uh, all of the societies here and associations, our press people and our hospitals and colleagues from uh, the medical field. Uh, this is something that we need to do and we need to do it together. Uh, I will always tell people, hindi po kaya ng national government alone. Ayon sana for breast cancer, our voices will be heard as one, we unify all of our efforts and hopefully we give more hope to our cancer patients. So, marami salamat po and uh, again, I appreciate this kind of discussion. Thank you for being a voice of hope again. Kahit one o'clock na hindi kami gutom kasi ang dami natin. Nabusog kami sa, sa shinier po ninyo. Okay, so we'll just ask you uh, some questions, no? Punta uh, mag-alala, Yusef. Hindi to lights off, lights on. <laughs> Okay, but this is an important question. If resources were not an issue, what is the one barrier or gap that we can address together that will help strengthen the healthcare system and achieve the GPCI targets? Uh, well, if uh, resources are not a question, so I, I will eliminate the further pillars. No? And I would go and be uh, one with you in saying that we need to work on health literacy because uh, this really would be something critical uh, because as people are aware of how they get it or how they can prevent it and then katulong na natin yung komunidad at saka yung mga tao for better prevention and we hopefully eventually uh, we lessen the burden of disease. So, ayun guys, nakatapos lang ng event dito sa Manila Pe. And, uh, please do support pa rin ang Monteng Channel ko, Melody Balubino Vlogs. Thank you!